you see this. Do you see this? I fanboyed for this. I fanboyed for it. Like, I literally cried up for this. For this. Piece of paper. Not even, like... This doesn't even take up any of my air in this, like, in this world. But I fanboyed for it. Just saying. Um, and I'll tell you why I fanboyed for that later on in the video. But first I'm going to start off with what this video is about and how the whole situation went. Okay, so I am in a club called HOSA, which is Health Occupation Students of America. And I'm in ninth grade, and this is probably the best club I have ever been in. Ever. It truly makes me feel like I'm a part of a family. Everyone is so sweet, and I have never cried so many times, like, like periods of time in one day than I have today, just today. And I realized that I don't know what I would do, where I would be without the Hosa Bremen Hosa program. Okay. So this was a three day trip to Athens, Georgia for the state leadership conference and I did not know what to expect. But okay, let me just start from the beginning. So, it's, it's a long bus ride up there, which seems like it didn't take that long to me, but we get there, and we do all the stuff. People, it's so unorganized, or, well, from my point of view, it was so unorganized from the outside, but when she got inside the building, it was a, it was a lot more organized, and, well, from the outside, it looked like that. Like, that made no sense. I'm just gonna shut up about that. Okay. Anyways. And... I compete in what I was going to compete in. I didn't make it to second round. Too bad, right? I mean, I have three more years to do this. And it's just, we do all this amazing stuff while we're up there. We go to restaurants. In our free time, we sit in the hallway, which is boring. I, like, fell asleep in the middle of the hallway. I took a nap. So, anyways, let me get to the best part of the video. Okay, so after the first day... There is a meeting thing, and you have, there's like six sets, six sets of doors, maybe six, maybe five, I don't know, sets of doors all the way down this long corridor that opens up to a big, huge, like, gym ballroom thing, and it has like hundreds, 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 maybe thousands of chairs, right? And when the doors open, you have to run to the front to get the front, like a front row or the closest row of seats you can get. This is my first year, so I have never done this in my life. I didn't know what to expect, but Bring and Hoso was the first one at the first door. So we kind of crowded around the door so that nobody else could like come up to the door and get in before us. Okay, so we get there around 7 o'clock, but the doors don't open until 7.30. And it's like 7.40, or like, yeah, 7.40 something, and we're all standing up, chanting, let us in, blah, 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 I don't know. Like, we have like 30 minutes, and we're just standing there. And then finally the doors open, and I have never been in this kind of situation. I'm running through, I'm seeing people trip, fall, all kinds of things, and all of a sudden there's a chair in my way. And I'm just like stumbling and running, and then like, I'm like, okay, I have got to get away from these people. So I take off, and I'm like running, like on my tippy toes as fast as I can. And all of a sudden, I am flying through the air, and I hit the ground, and I'm like, oh my god, what am I doing? And I bounce off the ground, and I end up in a chair. Okay. All this mess, there are people screaming, like, high heels are flying, elbows, this is crazy, like, what happened to the family we were, like, 15 minutes ago? I don't know, but, okay, that, this is the first time I have tripped and flew through the air, like, it was crazy, but it was exciting, and I will do it again any day, <laughs> um, Okay, so I sit down in a seat just to find out that the seat I sat down in was reserved. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not dealing with this. I'm not going to fight somebody over a front row seat. I'm just going to move back a few rows.
sorry. Okay. Anyways, so I just moved back a few rows, and then we all get up, we're dancing, we're having fun, and then the meeting starts, and we just talk about what's gonna go, what's going on, blah blah blah. Okay. Then we come back the next day, and we are literally like, I have nothing to do for the whole like five, six hours that we're there. So I'm sitting out in the hallway, I'm walking around. By the way, a lot of cute boys. Just saying. Okay, anyways, I'm walking around, and I'm just doing whatever, and then I take a nap in the hallway, which is weird, because I never take a nap in public places, because I just don't like it. I don't like the fact that people can just walk by and, like, look at you, and you don't know if you're, like, drooling everywhere or snoring really loud, and I'm just, I don't like falling asleep in public places, but I did this time, because I was, like, freaking tired. Okay. Um... That night was supposed to be the host of dance, but for some weird reason, I don't know why, but tornadoes decided to touch down everywhere around us, everywhere, and I'm just like, I want to go to this dance, okay? I want to go to this dance because I just, this is my first host of kind of dance thing, and I want to go to it. And we're like an hour late and we get there and when we get off the bus and we're on our way over there, there are people rushing out like, oh my god, we're evacuating, there's tornadoes everywhere. So we run back to the bus to go back to the condos and I'm just like, this is crazy. I don't, like, what what's going on here? We're going to die in this bus. We're going to get blown away. Why did I just do this? I don't even have hair to do that to. Stop. Okay, I'm so used to having long hair. Why am I getting off subject? Okay. Um, then today, which was the most emotional day of my whole life, <laughs> I realized how much this Hosa Club means to me and where I would be if I was to not have, like, I wouldn't know where I would be without this Hosa Club, and I just stumbled over my words. Okay. Um, Hosa didn't win a lot of, or my school didn't win a lot of awards or competitions, which was a big letdown and kind of heartbreaking. But the fact that I know that we worked hard is what means the most to me. And this girl... Allison Payne is my chapter's president, and I love this girl more than anything, and I would do anything for this girl. When she didn't win and she had a meltdown and was crying, I died. Like, I was dying inside. Like, I just couldn't help it. Like, she had worked so hard to, <clears throat> sorry, that was in my pocket, she worked so hard, and she, and the fact that it was her last year in HOSA, you always want to end your last year with a bang, and personally, I think she did, but in her eyes, she didn't. I can't change her mind, I don't think anybody can, but she really did her best and she's my inspiration and I would and that is one reason I fangirled over this because I will wear this to every host of competition if I have to because I am gonna wear something that actually has meaning to me and she thinks I'm crazy she thinks I'm weird because right after the competition like after everybody got done and we were leaving. I called my mom and I was bawling, like crying on the phone. I just couldn't talk. I was like, <laughs> like it was, it was crazy. But I did it because 
I was torn apart that Allison was torn apart. And that was, I was dying. And I just, ugh. So, it comes down to it, I fanboyed for this thing, and I finally got it. And she thinks I'm crazy, and I told her I would make this video talking about just how crazy I am about her. Look at this, I got her name tag, okay? And there's some other stuff in here, and I don't know what it is, but there's like a little note. This probably has meaning. I should probably give this to her. It's an email address. <laughs> Shouldn't have gave me your name tag. <laughs> okay. Anyways. And then we get on the bus. And Nurse Randa, which is like my second mom. I love her to death. Is talking about how us students of hers... Are the reason she wakes up every morning to come to school and then she starts crying and when people cry I cry so of course I'm over here crying on the bus and I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know but this was the most emotional day of my life and I can honestly say this was the best experience I have ever had. And it definitely... It definitely has become a part of my life that I will always remember. Period. That's all I can say about it is I will always remember this moment. These moments I've had the last few days. Well, I guess I'm going to end this video... And I will try to get back to my normal routine of making videos. Yeah. Thanks for watching.